<laughs> hey, sweetie, guess what? What, what, are, what are you doing? I think I found more murders in the bloodline. Oh, you scare me. Welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels with your hosts, Sean and Marianne Bond. <laughs> well, hello, pair of peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co host, Marianne Donnelly. That's right. Marianne did a little bit of research and she found some interesting heritage about the Bordens. I did. So, hey, watch this video and we'll come back. And she's got some more to explain that she found after we recorded this video. So we'll be right back. Honey, this place is like trash, man. What, what, what are you working on? This is Lizzie's bloodline. What? Like, I've like... This is what you've been working on? Yeah, I've been like doing some research. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You put all this together? This is, this is Lizzie Borden's family tree, basically? Yeah, I've been like using different sources. Like... Oh, it's so amazing. I found a new thing. If you remember, I told you a few years ago how there was that other Borden family that got murdered in the well next door in the next door to where Lizzie lives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wanted to trace that back and see where exactly that was because it might be an interesting find. And then I found while I was doing that, I found somebody that said that there was another person who was related to Lizzie that killed their mother. And I'm like, I've got to find that. So I started doing some research, and I found that as well. So I can find, here is, here's Lizzie. Here's Lizzie. This is her dad, Andrew. Okay. This is his dad, Abraham. Abraham's brother was Ladwick. Ladwick's second wife, Eliza, supposedly killed her children, Eliza Ann and Holder, by dumping them in a well in the basement or the backyard or something. I have to look that up again. And then she went upstairs and she supposedly slit her throat. I think that it was actually Ladwick that did that. Okay. And, and so it wasn't really her because they looked at Eliza during the Lizzie trial and said maybe it was something in the relatives, maybe it was something in the bloodline, but they dismissed it because she wasn't really a Borden. But if Ludwig did it, because they've also said that it, the, the way the wound was on Eliza, it didn't make sense that she would have like did it to herself. So I think that maybe Ladwick did it. So then you follow Ladwick and Abraham back to their parents and you get Richard. You follow Richard back and you get another Richard. You follow Richard back and you get Thomas. You follow Thomas Relax. back. Relax, calm down. You're like so excited. I know. You follow <laughs> Thomas back and you get to somebody named Innocent Cornell. Innocent Cornell was the daughter of Thomas Cornell, who married a Richard Borden, by the way. That's how we get into the Borden family. But Innocent was the, the daughter of Thomas Cornell Jr., who killed his mother, Rebecca Briggs. He actually hanged for the crime back in the 1600s. That makes three Bordens that have killed family members. Isn't that cool? Cool. I don't know about cool. It's kind of creepy. I don't <laughs> then, know about like, being cool. Of all the way back, I've got the Bordens all the way back to the fourteen to fourteen eighty, and there was another Borden that two of them, uh, they in the sixteen hundred sixteen twenty, Matthew Borden and his wife Joan, they both died in sixteen twenty. I want to find out if there's something there too. I don't know if there is, but that'd be cool. That would be a fourth. And then this is the other side of the family. This is um, their mother's side of the family. I've gone back 20 generations already, and there's more. And I ran out of paper. I got to tad more on. So are there more murders? I didn't the find. I didn't find any murders on the mother's side of the family. Okay. But I definitely found some other ones that died the same year. So that's interesting. But it's really cool that I found three Borden family members who killed other members. So they were actually murders within yeah. the family. Yeah, and you want to know something else? 
You know that that that's one back there that I was mentioning, that innocent who who was the son, the daughter of Thomas, who killed his mother, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Rebecca's brother, John, actually is who got Thomas to hang for the crime. He had a dream that Rebecca came to him and said to check into his death. They went back and they found something that they used and it took him to trial and he hanged for the crime. Wow. So how much more do you have to do with this? Are you going to you going to keep going on this? Oh, or? I'm going to keep going on this because I want to go back as far, as many generations back as I can on every single part of this family. That's my ultimate goal. But for so today... So this is a whole pedigree. Well, it's not a whole one. I'm working. It's a work in progress. This is crazy. Yeah. And I was using all kinds of things. Like I was using, you know, find a grave. You know how they have all those little little leaves that go together. And then like some um, ancestry stuff of Lizzie itself. Um, look, one of them is called uh, famouskin.com. And I was going and using some of that. It's crazy. So this is all publicly accessible or this is with our uh, uh, paid account? No, so. this is publicly accessible. So we can link to this stuff in the description of this yeah. video? Yeah. So we'll put those links down And there. someday I'm going to make this and make it really, really good. All right. We're excited. Super excited, though. How cool is this, sweetie? Okay. Calm down. <laughs> All righty. Oh, I had to get this on video, folks, because she's been like, I'm like, what are you doing over there? Like, she keeps digging and digging busy. and finding more and more. I've been busy. All right. Okay. Cool. There you go. So you want to explain that? Because you know a little <laughs> bit more. I know I was just freaking out watching you giggle and like you were into it for like a day and a half. It just, was like, so insane. amazing. It was so amazing. I couldn't believe. Like I had heard of the children that were drowned in the cistern. And actually we did get a comment on Twitter that somebody said that. Said the comment about the children that drowned in the thing that they heard about that. We did get a comment. So okay. one of our viewers has actually heard that. But I bet you you haven't heard some of this other stuff. Yeah. So um, I I had heard about the, the children in the cistern before we went to the Lizzie Borden house. And then when we were at the Lizzie Borden house. But they didn't live at the house. No. It was next They lived to next the door. Borden. Yeah. They lived in the house that was next door. Um, Ladwick actually, Ladwick, he, he owned the house next door. Um, before the Bordens that Lizzie belongs to moved into Lizzie's house. So um, that's um, her great uncle. Okay. Okay. So, so it would have been Andrew's brother? It was Andrew's no, Andrew, uncle. Andrew's uncle. Okay. Yeah. So that would make her a great, yeah. great the great niece. Anyhow, so um, there was always the idea and the theory that, you know, the mother just killed them all, basically with what we would today consider postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were others, though, that kind of said the way that her throat was slit, it wasn't something that she would have probably done to herself. So there was the question of whether she had actually killed herself or not. Um, for me, it's a toss-up, but I think that maybe if we want to go with this line of heritage of murders, it might have been Uncle Ladwick instead, that he killed his wife and two of his children. But why didn't he kill the third? Why didn't she kill the third? Or maybe she killed the children and he took care of her for killing the children. That could Who be. Knows? That could but, be. Yeah, I, I, I do remember you saying that the way that she was found that's a very hard wound to do to yourself. Mm -hmm. She, if she did do it, she had some serious issues. Yeah. So when we were at the Lizzie Borden house, they claim that the children that haunt the upstairs are the children from the, the cistern. Yeah. Um, but the names that they use at the Lizzie Borden house don't actually match the names of the children that were killed. So that's an interesting find as mm -hmm. well. So everybody seems to, if you know about any additional Borden murders, those are the ones. So as Eliza far as Darling, relation to Lizzie, it would have been Lizzie's great, great uncle, uncle and aunt. 
an aunt. Yes. Okay. Um, now so you this found was, more. This was his. This was his second wife. He had four wives. It was his second wife, Eliza Darling Borden, who supposedly did the killings. And when Lizzie was on trial, they actually looked at this and said, well, maybe it's something in the bloodline, said, oh, wait, she's the one who did the murders. She's not a direct bloodline. So she's out. So it's not, that it's not happening. If she did do it. But if Uncle Ladwick did it. And made it look like a suicide. And made it look like a suicide, which a lot of times back in the day, they used to name things suicides that weren't suicides. Right. Clearly, you could look at them and say that yeah. wasn't a suicide, and they still named it a suicide. So you found more. Yeah. So go back seven generations back from Lizzie, and you find another Borden murder. This time, uh, it wasn't a Borden yet, but they ended up marrying into the Borden family and making her bloodline then. So what happened was seven generations back from Lizzie, there was Thomas Cornell, which, by the way, Cornell University, um, his family actually is what created Cornell University. So that's kind of cool, too. Um, but um, if you go back seven generations to Thomas Cornell Jr., he was accused and hanged for the murder of his mother, Rebecca Briggs. After his supposed, uh, after his hanging for the supposed murder, um, he, his wife was pregnant. They had six kids already. They were having their seventh kid. Um, but he, she was pregnant. His wife was pregnant. And so four months after he hung, she gave birth to a daughter who she named Innocent. Mm. saying, my husband was innocent. This, I'm going to name innocent. So innocent marries a Borden, and then they come down the line the to Lizzie. Line. So that's how it ties to the bloodline, considering it's not technically a Borden murder, but innocent, whose father was accused of killing his mother, marries a Borden, becomes the Borden so bloodline. It is. it is in the blood then. It, it's a possibility. It it's a possibility. Um, so he had, uh, Thomas had killed his mother, apparently. Um, at first, it looked like it was an accident. What's really interesting is she was not wanting dinner that night because it was a fish that they were having that she said made her too thirsty at night and she didn't want it. But all her friends said she used to love that type of fish. So that's kind of interesting. So after dinner, uh, one of the grandsons, one of Thomas's six children, went to go and try to check on her, rouse her, um, and apparently couldn't. And he heard some dogs barking and making noises. So he went to investigate that, sees somebody laying on the floor, and there's like, oh, and so gets dad. Uh, Thomas come, Jr. comes in. At first, they see this woman, lay, or they see this person laying on the floor with their head, like, almost in the fireplace, uh, in the fire. And then they immediately don't see it as being grandma. They see it as being this Native American who used to live with them, a servant named Wickapash. 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 So they think it's Wickapash, so they start, for whatever reason, doing some Indian chants or Native American Indian chants. Then suddenly he realizes this isn't this Wickapash, this is his mother. Jeez. And so they try, they, they you know, try so to revive. So did she similar to Wickapash? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I guess burned, maybe, you know. it. Okay. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, as far as that goes, they think, okay, it's an accident. She smoked a pipe. Maybe she was smoking, got a little bit of ashes that fell and, you know, it got caught on her and she tried to like get away and she fell into the fire or whatever. They think it's an accident. It's ruled as an accident until a couple days later. A couple days later, Rebecca's brother, You're John. You're so excited. She's so excited about this stuff. Rebecca's brother, John, <laughs> he wakes up from a dream and says, 
my sister came to me in a dream. Uh, there's this dream that he had where someone was there and said um, that, see how I was burned. See how I was burned? And then he's like, who are you? And said, I'm your sister. So he goes to the police and he says, the ghost of my sister came and says that she was burned. It wasn't an accident. So they exhume her body. Based on a dream. Based on a dream of a ghost. Because back in those days, they really... This was like yeah. big time stuff back in those then in the year. And uh so they exhume the body and they find a wound in the stomach. Wow. And so based on that, they go ahead and try Thomas for the murder of his mother. And as it turns out, through the investigation, they find out that they didn't get along at all. He was the oldest son. She still owned the property. It was somehow, which is crazy for that time period, but when her husband died, all the property remained in her name. In the 1600s? In the 1600s, 1673. Wow. So the 100 acres or whatever that they had in the homestead, that was all still hers. They were living in the house that she still owned. They didn't get along. She wanted to move out and move with one of the other siblings, one of Thomas's other siblings, and there was a lot of fighting in the family. And so they, you know, basically looked at that as he's trying was to offer her property. He's the trying fighting? maybe he's Which trying to offer. Sounds similar to the Borden Doesn't tension it? over property. Doesn't it? Wow. So it's all very very interesting, uh, but he eventually does get you know, uh, uh, convicted of killing his mother and he hangs by the neck and on the 23rd of, of May, you would think that'd be the end of it, but no, a year later, they try to, uh, insinuate that it was Wikipash that was involved in this. The, uh, well, Native American was, servant, they thought, he, they they thought, thought, thought it was, was him. But now, Poor a year Native later, Americans. he's indicted for abetting this murder. So participating, helping out with this murder. Mm -hmm. um, and he's found not guilty. He's acquitted by nine English settlers and three Native Americans. That was his jury. And then, uh, in 1675, this is two years after the murder, uh, Thomas Cornell's brothers decide, you know what? I think Thomas's wife was in on this. And so they try to Jeez. convict her, but they can't get enough uh, evidence or witnesses against her. And so the charges get dropped. But he still did hang for the murder. All related to Lizzie Borden. Yeah. Yeah. Bet you guys didn't know that story. That's a that's an interesting one. Okay. Yeah. Well, as you can see... She's dug up some new stuff. Yeah, like, I even found the court transcripts from Thomas's trial back in the 1600s. Are we going to try to put links down to we this can stuff? Do that. We can try, we'll try to, to put that. links to this stuff down in the description. And guess what? This is only video number two for the three weeks of Lizzie Borden <laughs> stuff. So just imagine what we're going to be sharing with you guys. All the little tidbits and All details. All these little that... tidbits and details you probably never heard of before. Yeah, I had never heard of, you know the Cornell tie-in. But you found it. But I found it. So, you have anything else for Seven this video? Seven generations back, then what three is that? Three murders in the family. Yeah, three, three, three that families. That you found, that you didn't finish the other side. Right, I didn't finish the other side, and there was another set of, of family members back um, that died the same, the husband and wife died the same day, or the same year. Mm -hmm. Whether it was the same day or not, I don't know. I haven't found anything on that. But we know of at least three murders in the Borden bloodline since the 1600s. Wow. Hey, folks. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. Let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, Support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and dinging that bell.
so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Videos. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.